Markel Foltz, Lonzo Ball, Frank Jackson, some of the top freshman point guards this year. Here's a few plays to get a small taste of their games, and we're going to learn a few things for players, point out a few tips, and hopefully show you guys a few moves that will help your games. First off is Frank Jackson and some highlights from Duke's game versus Kansas. And I just think Frank Jackson is just a solid all-around player. He's got an amazing build, a thick, strong body, and he does some nice things as we'll see in these next few plays. On the drive right here, notice how low his shoulders get. Frank has the build of a running back, and he also kind of, kind of runs like a running back in this clip. Gets his shoulders down into the defender to create that separation. Ends up getting an open shot, although he doesn't convert. It's a good quality shot. Now, one thing he needs to be cautious of on this floater is when he's running in, he doesn't need to float so far down the lane every time because of the risk of a big stepping up to create a charge. I think that was funny. My voice changed in that last segment because I sped it up in iMovie Editor, but whatever. This next play, we'll see his off-the-ball movement. Now, as the ball moves around the court, it'll eventually end up in Grayson Allen's hands. He's going to drive baseline, and Frank is going to drift to the corner on the opposite side. He has nice balance, good lift, jumps straight up and down, and we'll blame this air ball to freshman jitters in a early season game against a big team. This next play, what I like about Frank is he shows he understands options coming off of a ball screen. So at first he tries to reject the screen, it's not there, and then he tries to split the screen and dribbles off the foot, which should have been called a kick, but maybe he'll get adjusted to that length of college and understand it needs to be a wider gap for him to split playing big teams like Kansas. Plain and simple right here, Frank just shows his nose getting to the ball, being aggressive, and getting to the foul line. Always like that. This next segment, we see Frank's ability once again to move without the basketball. This time it's not for a three, it's for a layup, but we see his awareness, his court awareness off the ball, and his readiness to receive the ball when cutting. Right here, Matt Jones makes a phenomenal pass and finds Frank for the easy layup. These next few plays, not only do we see Frank's ability to shoot the basketball from three, but we see that he's got a hint of the clutch gene within him. What's tactically impressive about this shot is his readiness to shoot the basketball. He's sliding, so he's creating good spacing. His hips are down, his hands are up, and he's ready to shoot the basketball. He goes straight up and down, very good balance, good follow through, and knocks this thing down. This play, we see Frank incorporate some of the same concepts that all players need to learn in the game of basketball. One is relocating on the three-point wing on a drive. Two is making yourself available, not only open. And third, to be ready for the catch and shoot when you catch it. Once again, his knees are bent, his hips are down, and his hands are up, and he ties this thing up with a big three. Next up in the video is Markel Fultz, some plays he made against Yale. Now you'll see from these few short clips why there are reasons why many think Markel Fultz is going to be the first pick of the NBA draft. Very impressive in this play is Markel's ability to change pace and speed to get the defense on his back and then to finish at the rim mid-air making an adjustment. Although this next play is a turnover off of a tipped pass, we still see Markel's ability to see the floor. Off of a cross screen here from block to block, we'll see the guy coming off to Markel's left. Number four might have been open off the screen, and that's what Markel saw. Got tipped and had a turnover, but the vision is there. Markel shows some snake action kind of off of a ball screen right here where he dribbles back to the middle on a pro hop and gets off a nice balanced shot. This was the funnest play to watch for me because as you'll see Markel draws in four defenders and gets by them all. He has a phenomenal right to left crossover, one dribble finish with his inside hand. Against Players, notice how low Markel's crossover is and how he uses his body, his back, to protect the ball from the defending big. 
these next two plays, we see Markel's ability to shoot and knock down the three. This first one, he has good balance, and the momentum of his body is going towards the rim, and he makes this first shot. Now, in this second shot off the pick and roll, the momentum of his body is going straight up and down, and when he lands, it's going backwards. So the lesson here, and it changes for every shooter, but the lesson here is to have your momentum straight up and down or going towards the basket a little bit. Drag screen right here from Markel. He shows a great ability to protect the basketball. As Notice as the big hedges, he goes between the legs so that the big can't poke that ball out. More so than that, he backs up into the big so that it's defender, body, ball. He creates that contact, that change of speed so that he occupies two defenders on him, which frees him up for a drive down the middle of the lane and a nice finish. Like any freshman, we're going to blame these two turnovers to freshman jitters early in the season as just makes a couple bad plays, dribble off the foot, and then throws it out of bounds. Now this next play, though, is a definite positive for Lonzo. Maybe the biggest criticism of Lonzo Ball thus far is his shooting. He brings the ball to the right, I'm sorry, to the left side of his face to make shots. But what I do like is he's not hesitant and he shoots it confidently. You can tell it in his body language that he shoots with some rhythm. Here we see his ability once again to shoot the ball. Looks like he's going to set a down screen but pops back out for a DHO and knocks down a three. What I like, me personally, is his body language after he makes this shot. What this tells me is I don't think he's going to be a consistent knockdown shooter, but with this type of passion, with this type of emotion, he's got the ability to be a streaky shooter and score points in bunches, in my opinion. This next play is why I think Lonzo Ball is the biggest highlight guy like a Russell Westbrook. Nice crossover at half court and shows the athletic ability to throw a right hand hammer down to get the crowd involved. What I also like about Lonzo is like you just saw here, he has the ability to pass the ball up the floor. He's a good outlet passer. He doesn't always have to take the ball up the court. In this pass from Tom Welsh, we see Lonzo's rhythm once again, although he doesn't make the shot, he shows just in his body. He's just got a rhythm and he's confident shooting three. Now, technically, I think his form, he was leaning back a little bit, the momentum, you can see when he landed, his body started going back to half court. Only Dirk Nowitzki can do that really, really good in my opinion. So it benefit Lonzo to jump straight up and down, land on his toes, which will be better balance and hold his fall through for a split second more. This next play, look at him read. He's looking for the roller. The roller doesn't come soon enough. So he gets his eyes to the big and makes a good read so that the big is telling him by, his, by the big's positioning, shoot it Lonzo because I'm protecting the rim. Sure enough, he pulls up and knocks it down. Lonzo Ball shows here his athleticism and his constant eye to get to the rim for alley-oops and make highlight real plays. We're going to see this a lot from UCLA this year, and I've already seen it a lot, a good amount of times looking for Lonzo Ball and alley-oops through these first couple games for the Bruins. Hey, you guys watching this video of Markel Fultz, Lonzo Ball, and Frank Jackson. Some good highlight plays from their first couple of games. There's a reason these three were rated as three of the top freshman point guards this year in the country. If you're a player, I hope you had some value of how to make plays, how to read defenses in this clip. And if you are a fan of either three of these players, I really, really appreciate you watching. 
Myself, I'm an aspiring college coach, so my aim in these videos is to bring value to anybody in the basketball community. Look out for more videos, and I appreciate you watching.